How's it going guys? It's Rejunkie here. In today's video we're going to be talking about the HTC 10. And actually we're going to be showing off how to install a really awesome ROM, which is the Viper ROM or Venom ROM. Uh, HTC devices, this ROM is compatible with lots of them. Uh, developers of it are really awesome and we're going to show you how to install it here on the HTC 10. Now, there are some prerequisites. Obviously you're going to have to have, unlike bootloader, you're going to have to have Torp Recovery already installed. All those things kind of pre-done. Um, if you haven't seen how to do those, I have a video playlist I'll link in the video description down below that covers all those steps and all those processes. Today we're just going to strictly talk about installing the ROM. So basically you go ahead and download it, but I'm going to also just show you guys what I'm running right now currently, just because I think it's a good thing to do. So you guys can see it. Uh, software. There you go. It's Android 6.0.1. That's currently what I'm on. This is stock software. I do have root access, you can see right there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to boot into bootloader mode, uh, which will get us into Torp Recovery and go from there. Now, there are some good information right here on XDA. This is the official post for the Venom ROM for the HTC 10. And uh, the one thing you're really going to want to look through is right here. You're going to have to click on this Show More Content here and read through the installation directions. Really, most of this is, like I said, stuff that we've already done. We're going to be talking about this last little part um, from like 10 to 13 right there. All right. One thing to note that's very important is to read this important note about um, not requiring or disabling the require pin to start option. You want to make sure that's not turned on on the phone. Uh, otherwise, you'll have issues. So besides that, you can read through the rest of the post. Uh, good information in there for sure. One of the awesome things I love, I love, about the Viper ROMs is that they have OTA updates. So you're not losing out on new features for new Android versions because they update quite frequently and it is awesome. All right, so besides that, you're gonna go ahead and download the file. So if you come right here and right here, you click on the Venom ROM page and then that's gonna take you guys to the right place. Again, the instructions are here. And then you click on the uh, AFH link, which will bring you to Android File Host, which is an awesome service. And then you can download the ROM from there. Now I've already done that. It's about 1.6 gigs of ROM. So it's quite a big file and I've already got it on my device. So I guess I'll go ahead and just show you guys that really quickly. Mine's right here. Which is my file browser and right there and then right there it is viper 10-1.2.1 zip that's the file we're going to flash in recovery now to get into recovery let's go ahead and do that so we're going to power off the device and we'll go ahead and turn it off and then we're going to hold some buttons um there's a bunch of different ways to do this i'm going to see if i can do it by going volume up and power from the powered off state here and see if I can get into recovery. All right, so that actually got me into this funky mode here, <laughs> which is fine. Um, hello. So if you get to this, you can also do volume down and power. Either way will get you into a different mode and then you just want to find the one that hits uh, reboot to bootloader. Go ahead and hit that option with power. And now you're in bootloader mode. You can see I do have it unlocked right here because that is a requirement and S off. S off isn't a requirement, but good idea. Um, and then we're going to go down here to boot to recovery mode. And that's going to boot up Torp Recovery. Um, again, Torp Recovery, unlocking the bootloader, all those things are things I've covered in previous videos. So again, check those out in the description and you, you'll have those steps achieved and then you can kind of follow with this video. Now that we've booted into Torp Recovery, it's important to point out a couple of things. One, you need to make sure you update to the latest Torp Recovery image. Um, that's just going to work the best for doing and installing this ROM. And two, you need to make sure when you see this thing pop up that you swipe to allow modifications to system. Otherwise, the ROM install will not function correctly. You'll be stuck in a boot loop, and you'll have to restore some things. So, um, Also, we want to come in here, and we want to run a backup. So it's very important to come in here and back up all of these things. So you have all those uh, cache. Uh, you really, really don't need cache or data, technically, but you need these ones all backed up. You can back up cache and data if you like, if you prefer. 
uh, for the first backup you might want to. And then you swipe across to go ahead and create your first an Android backup. Now, I already did one and should be in here right there there you go I did one just earlier so I have a backup already on my SD card so I'm okay so from here we're just gonna go ahead and do our install of Viper 10 ROM so we're gonna click on it and swipe to install now what's really cool is that this ROM uses aroma installer which is awesome it really lets you customize the ROM to your liking right from the get-go which is just awesome. You can pick what applications you want, what features you want in it, and I really love it. So go ahead and just go ahead. You can read through this if you prefer. I can hit agree and then hit next. Um, just talk some information about wiping the device. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit next, and we can do that internally. So then next we're just going to go do install Viper 1, and then we're going to do full wipe. This will will remove all of your apps, all of your data, everything on your device. So if you haven't backed up anything that you want to make sure you have backed up, Go ahead and go back back out and cancel this go back those things up and then install the ROM. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit next and then do you want it to look like Viper ROM or look most more like stock I really want Viper so um, it says please select desired configuration for your device so just I'll do Viper hit next and then select programs and mod features you want so I would like boost dark themes this this so completely remove Removal of HTC Sense, yeah, for sure. Um, remove apps, open Windows, remove Google Sync. So this is interesting. Open a new window to remove user and system ads. So I do. We want we want to open those up and then install Sense Seven apps and widgets. Open a new window window for that. Install keyboard. That's fine. Remove media. Open a new window to remove ringtones and alarms. I don't want to do with that. Um, and then I do want to do systemless root. So I have that one checked and then I'll hit next. And then right here it says select apps you want to uninstall. So um, I actually don't want Adway. Uh, titanium backups, I'll keep that one. And then I actually want all these because I love my Google stuff. So we'll uh, make sure we got all those installed. Yep, install all of them. Uh, and I'll even install Android Pay. And then system apps. We have these calculators and um, Face Lock and File Manager. I actually like File Manager. I don't want their Facebook stuff. Um, so actually, we got to make sure we do that right. So I'm going to remove all these Facebook, Facebook, Flat Instagram, Messenger application, recording, all this HTC baloney um, that I really don't use and don't really want. HTC Boost and Ice View. So all those will get removed and all my Google stuff will be installed. And then select uh, Sense 7 apps and widgets you want to install. Um, I actually will install the gallery, but the rest of the apps and widgets, I really don't like any of them or Facebook or Instagram blink, blink feed stuff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit next. This talks about um, which language for TouchPal. I don't have it, so I'm going to hit next. Pick Nova Launcher. US is what I've got right here, so US unlocked. Hit next, and then next to install. And then it gives you some information about if it freezes on zero, reboot and try again. And then otherwise, we're just going to watch the progress bar shoot across the bottom. All right, so this is a nice thing to import out here. On first boot, it may take a few minutes, goes through a bunch of things, Android is upgrading, and so on. So it's very important that uh, you give it plenty of time on first boot. So it says it's done. So the script was su succeeded. Results was zero, so that looks good. So we're going to hit next. Uh, it says reboot device now. I do want to do that, so I'll hit next. And this should go ahead and reboot Torp Recovery right into the new Viper 10 ROM, uh, or Viper 1, however you want to call it, whatever they're calling it these days. I'm going to go ahead and let this thing boot up. I'm going to point out that it's going to be in the boot animation for quite a while. Then it's going to um, Android is upgrading for a long time. And then when it's done with that, we should fully boot up the device. So you can see it just did a quick kind of boot loop right there. Um, hopefully that's not an issue. Let's just see if we can fully boot up here. Okay, so there is the HTC, which is looking good. 
and I'm gonna go through setup and I'll show you guys the ROM. All right guys, here we are. We are fully booted up. Now I did notice playing with a couple things on here um, that I probably should have installed a little bit more of the HTC Sense stuff because some of my functionality is actually gone and that's kind of a bummer um, because of some things I installed. For example, I'll give you an example is if you go in here into settings and you go to personalization there used to be some theming things you could do here and they're non-functional buttons at this point because those applications weren't installed so be very careful when you're picking your applications that you're getting and not getting in the installer in the rom installer um, but not a big deal you could even go back and install it all again if it's something you're missing it's not like the end of the world it's just a time consuming to go back through those processes um, otherwise I mean you can see this is Nova launcher because that's the launcher we chose and you have all of its theming and its look and feel stuff should still function here if you want to come in here and you know pick a different icon pack or whatever um, and do some theming through Nova launcher that should all still function for you as well um, otherwise, so that's Nova Launcher. Let's see the applications it comes with. Basically, the stuff that's kind of universal or uh, kind of awesome about uh, Venom or uh, Viper, Viper ROM is the Venom tweaks. But some of the things I also noticed in here that were in here were this uh, side panel. So some people like this. It's kind of interesting. You can launch these different applications from here. Um, you can also see your most recent applications, uh, a bunch of quick toggles if you're interested in those. So it's it's there, it's it's interesting. Um, I did pick flashlight, so that application is still there. Otherwise, you can see very much Google features, right? Um, you do have, obviously have a Super SU for root access. I did already give Venom Tweaks root access. You have titanium backups. You have Venom Hub, which actually does quite a lot for you. You have to create an account to get in there. There's a lot of cool features and extra things you can get through the Venom Hub. So definitely, if you're interested and you really like this ROM, you're going to have to get an account and check that out. And then there is the Venom Tweaks, which is what makes this ROM insanely awesome. Uh, if you really like the developer's work, definitely donate, and uh, you won't have this pop up every time you open the application. So you can definitely do that, uh, and I'd highly recommend it to support this guy's work. Um, other than that, this thing is loaded. All right. So, for example, pulled down pretty cool, right? You've got all these toggles in here that do just about everything, which is really, really cool. Um, lots and lots of features in here to push these little toggles and do all kinds of good stuff. You can pull it down and you have the other toggles on here, kind of normal toggles. But we can customize all of this, which is what makes um, these Venom tweaks so awesome. So you have header things. You can add in weather, for example. And now you have a weather bar on there, um, brightness sliders. I mean, all this. You can basically re-customize how you want your pull-down to look. Um, maybe you want CPU frequencies, right? So now you've got those. Look. Check that out. Four-core CPU frequencies. That's pretty cool. Um, usage, SD card space. Maybe you want that one in there as well. Now it's giving you that. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Traffic, battery status. You can basically make the header and the drop down exactly how you want it, um, and and even remove and even remove this one if you prefer and get it out of there completely. Um, so it's just just kind of up to you how you want to do it by adding in more lines and basically creating your own pull down, um, which I like that. I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Um, besides that, you can see there's just it's just everything. You can status bar themes, how you want things to look, how you want your icons to look. Um, it's it's just loaded and then the other thing you want to do once you change a parameter you normally want to come up here and hit that little sync circle and it'll like do like kind of like a soft reboot and then come right back up and everything will be updated because things don't always change instantly so um yeah just just yeah just it's it's insane honestly clock options traffic i mean it just goes on and on and on double tap to sleep if you want to use that so turn screen off status bar double tap so let's see if it'll work. I don't even know. Oh, it's only in the status bar. Forget. I think you got to do it up here. I'm not sure if you got to do it pull down or there it is. See it? And then you can wake it up. So different things there. You've got colors. I mean, you talking about notification counts, lights. Um, I'm pretty sure you probably even change the color of your uh, little buttons down here. I mean, it just goes on and on. Lock screens, 
buttons and gestures. Yeah, just crazy. Use navigation. I think you can even turn those off and have on-screen navigation if you like. Um, and it just, yeah, <laughs> CPUs. Um, you can get updates. This is what I was talking about before. You can get OT updates, and it, they install very easily. You just click the update. It boots into Torp Recovery, installs the update, reboots back. Boom, you got the update. So the ROM stays up to date really nice, which is awesome. Here's your CPU information. You can go ahead and tweak all this to your liking. Uh, if you want to install PyLauncher, or it's installed, if you want to turn it on and, on and use that functionality as well, um, we can do that. And let's see if it'll... So there you go. And you can customize all of this and, you know, use it to go home or back or whatever. So basically, the Venom Tweaks just makes this phone so insanely customizable that uh, it, it'll just blow you away. Seriously. It's awesome, awesome, awesome awesome features and customization when it comes to HTC devices here with Venom ROM or Viper 10 ROM, whichever you want to put it. So there you go, guys. That's going to kind of be my overview of this ROM. Definitely the best you can get for the HTC 10. Um, I prefer it way over Side Gemod or any other custom ROM that's out there because of the customization. Hope you guys like this video here. Um, stay tuned for more videos on this device. If you got anything you'd like me to to make a video on, maybe on getting Super Sid or a different ROM review, let me know in the video uh, just comments down below. Also, again, everything will be linked in the video description down below. So that's going to wrap it up for me. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.